Uh, just doing a basic pad swap today. I've already loosened off the 213mm bolts on the back there. Uh, both bolts out. So they're not burning right. One's um one side's nearly completely dead, or is dead I should say. And the other side is still about a third of its life on it. one here is jammed or well, not jammed just really stubborn to move so we'll get that out and just get that pin out there she's all dried up so I might as well do the other side as well yeah they could do both do it to clean up I'll clean them out I'll get some fresh grease in there I'll just have to use a standard um, bearing grease if I can't find the lithium grease. But uh, I'll clean them up. And, uh, uh, I've taken the boots off so I can clean them away from the car, make it a bit easier for me. I've given these a clean with methylated spirits just to clean them up. I'm going to clean this one here out. Just do it any way you can. I just happen to have a brush that I can put on a drill. Before I go any further with that though, because I want to put that on straight away when I finished it, I'm just going to set that aside. I'll just rest it there so we don't put stress on the brake line. It is rotor off. And we're going to clean up around here as well with a wire brush. There and on the inside of the rotor. And the importance of cleaning out the rotors and the knuckle is because the slightest bit out and you get a shake in your front end when you brake. Yeah, so that's all nice and clean. Inside the road is nice and clean. Put that back in place. Just giving these boots a good wash with methylated spirits. That should be clean enough now. So I'm just going to put these in the sun just so they dry out. If I was to use water to wash them, they'd be sitting there for ages. So I'm just going to let them dry out. Okay, so instead of using bearing grease, that's what I was going to use because I had got no other choice. But I came across me dry lube, so I'm actually going to use a bit of that. Better for the rubbers than for the than what the grease is. Gonna squeeze that around a bit. Still a bit on the stiff side though. Just for good measure, I'm gonna put a bit of dry lube on the too much is better than not enough. Oh look at that, there's heaps out. That's what we want. Now the other side. And this one goes like this. But I'll do the same. I'll put a bit of dry lube directly onto here. And this part of the boot goes over this side here. Hopefully you can see it all right. Beautiful. Now I'll get this. I'll take my DIY piston compressor off. Just a little something I made out of an old brake pad. Does the job. Get the new pads on. There's all spring parts here. Get over the front of this. Like that. This one just clips into the piston. I'm going to sit this in here for a second. And let the 
find the little these guys here don't forget these little guys very important because they stop the brake shatter uh, like when you hit the brakes if you're hearing a, a clonk noise when you brake it's because these guys are missing okay so once you've got these little clips in on both sides if you're missing one um well this one here is made out of tin can so if you're missing one just get creative and make yourself one but don't forget to put them in i just want to show you for good measure here just made myself another one of these little plates so all you do is basically just cut a piece out of a can square, you know about a rectangle piece fold it over so you've got your fold and then once you've made that fold you just cut the sides off and then put a slit in curve the ends over and job's done i'll go chuck that on Okay, see, so bolts back in. So there's me plates there. The reason why I curve the ends over is just so it doesn't slip out. It's just packing and it stops that chunking noise. It just kind of like makes a little banging noise when you press the brakes if, if they're not in there. So tighten up your bolts, put your wheel back on, job's done. Just a quick mention because I'm doing the left hand side now before I do the back. Here's the original clips here, what they look like. So you don't want to lose these. But if you do, you know, like just make out of an alloy can, just make yourself a couple of new ones. Or if you've got flat metal like this, you can just make yourself another another one. Doesn't have to be genuine, just has to be something in there that's gonna do the job. Okay, so doing the rear brake pads is pretty much the same idea as the front. Undoing on the back, you got two 15 mil bolts, they're only short ones. So after removing them, uh, then I've compressed the caliper in with me tool there. This one's not doing anything. It's just the one in the center there. The reason why I have two on this, on this brake pad is because sometimes you've got two uh, pistons that you need to push in. So, <clears throat> I've taken the caliper off. I'm not going to take the mount off and remove this rotor because it's never been removed. I'm the second owner of this car since it was two year old, so I know these have never been off. Uh, they're still original rotors. I am going to clean this area here up still though and uh, I did that on the front as well but I don't think I took footage of that but I'll still get in there with the brush clean around here before I put the rim back on put the new pads on but the most important thing to keep in mind is your brake fluid so I did a brake fluid flush and change uh, not too long ago on this I didn't know my pads were so low so because my pads were low Pushing those pistons back in, I've now got more fluid in here than what I started with and she's leaking out. So once I finish changing that brake there, I'm going to get some degreaser around here, clean this up and then I'll do my other re-brake and same thing's going to happen again. It's going to push out I'm going to have to come back here with degreaser. Important thing is the brake fluid is going to cause paint to lift wherever it's landing. So I'm going to clean all that up, make sure that there isn't brake fluid everywhere. Give a good soak of degreaser. You know, all the years I've had this car, I seriously don't think I've ever had to change the rear brake pads. Righty, I'm just going to go over these brakes just to show you. And I'm like, you can, you can stop watching now if you wanted to. The rear left, worn down. But not too bad there's still an even pad on them the front left just started to hit metal to metal most of the most of the areas still okay though and that wore down okay and the other one you can see down here on this side here is a little bit thinner so that it's a little bit off but not too bad and the right rear uh, the yeah the right rear same deal it's actually a little bit thinner on this side here a little bit off center there, but again, I've seen a lot worse. And that one there wore evenly. And the front right. Alrighty, well, them's the brakes. Cheers, guys.